just wanted to do a quick update video thing. Yeah, I know I'm lazy. I'm using my camera. Um, I was able to fix my laptop. I got, as you know, there was a um, virus on it, and the way I fixed it basically was I installed a vast, uh, installed a vast, and on reboot it found the thing, and it got it. But the real reason of this video is kind of to go over um, a new computer I have to fix. Um, it's a laptop, as you can see. But I don't even know what brand it is because I haven't opened the case yet. Uh, the person just uh, dropped it off about 10 minutes ago. So um, from the description, it seems to have a fake antivirus on it, which is really pretty easy to get rid of. So I don't even know if it has a charger. So I'm going to get this, I don't know if this is personal paper or something. No, it was just that. Okay, so, ah, I need to get this out of here, it's kind of snug. I'll put the camera down. nice okay it's um an HP I'm gonna guess it's an HP DV probably an entertainment uh, system one yeah mm -hmm. HP pavilion DV5 and um, uh, let's see if there's the charger Oh, hey, it has the charger in it. That's good. Um, I hope it has some battery life. But basically, they were just saying that um, <coughs> they were generally acting slow and it was giving weird like alerts of programs being blocked because of viruses. Most likely a fake antivirus. So I'm just going to start it up if it has battery. And I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to make sure first that... I know that probably doesn't have a Wi-Fi switch on it, and it doesn't have the Wi-Fi code, so I just want to make sure it doesn't automatically connect. Whatever. Okay, so it's starting up. We're just going to do a normal boot. So it has, I'm going to guess it has Windows 7. Oh, well. It says right there. Okay, so it's booting up. Okay, so it has an AMD Vision uh, CPU. Um, I'm gonna guess two gigabytes of RAM, uh, 120, no, 320 gigabyte uh, hard drive. Is there something in the CD drive? I think there's something in the CD drive. Uh, let's see. Oh. Huh. Hey. Okay. Interesting. Uh, oh. Slight problem. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I don't know if you can... Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but... Ah. There's what looks like reset password when I click it, ask for a thumb drive, so I'm going to see if I can... Okay, password reset.
Oh. Okay. Um. I think I can try something else. Okay, there's multiple ways I can go about doing this. First, first thing I did was I can send him a message saying, hey, do you have the password? That's probably the easiest. Second is I can modify some system files to turn stick keys into a command prompt and then reset passwords through that way. Or I can use a bootable thumb drive and remove um, the virus and not even get into the user account. Though that's kind of a sloppy way because there might be some stuff lingering. I'll see if he uh, responds back with the password. What I've decided to do is replace the utility manager with command prompt. Normally on the Windows login screen you see the little square that's the ease of access. Well, when you type that, when you type that, uh, tap it, it opens this window. Well, if I go and use my Windows installation disk, DVD, I can go and, let's turn this off, where's the mouse, there we go. I can go and, uh, replace that file with command prompts so when it opens, it opens an administrator command prompt, so I'll be back when that finishes. It's still attempting repairs. <laughs> I guess it'll probably, it will probably happen is he'll get back to me with the password by the time this isn't even finished, so. Yeah. Exciting. All I'm doing is I'm waiting for this to fail, and then I can go into advanced options, but I can't skip this. See? Cannot be cancelled. Yay! Okay. I forgot the since this is HP, OEM manufacturers like to mess with the uh, recovery partition. It's their own cute little custom recovery thing. I just want to get to advanced options. So hopefully exiting out of this. No, I don't. Uh, let's see. Uh, no. <sighs> well, I guess I'm gonna have to try my DVD. Okay, so about an hour and a half later, because the camera batteries decided to die, here's what I've so far done. I, as I said in the previous part, I um, replaced the uh, utilities with command prompt. So by clicking the button in the bottom left-hand corner, it usually opens the accessibility options. Well, it would open a administrator command prompt. So then I changed the password. I logged in, and it took about 20 minutes to load, then Explorer crashed, then it restarted. Then I logged back in, and same thing. So then I logged into safe mode without networking, and it crashed and rebooted. So then I logged into safe mode with networking, and it hung. And then the help thing that usually pops up saying, hey, you're in safe mode, that crashed. So then I did control delete, task manager, run, ran explorer, that crashed. So then I tried with command prompt. Well maybe because I replaced command prompt and switched stuff around, it started in safe mode with explorer, not with command prompt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bootable Kaspersky uh, thumb drive and I'm going to see if I can get it to boot off it or something. I don't exactly remember the I don't exactly remember the boot menu button.
Might be F10, I don't know. Okay, actually, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over, we're in BIOS now because apparently I hit the BIOS button. Boot options, boot order, I'm gonna change it so that a USB is on the top. So then F6 moves up. Okay, so then I'm gonna do F10. Now it should restart. Hmm, I just burned the USB. I mean, I just put the ISO on it. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm going to just remake the uh, USB drive. Extracting, etc. So I'll come back when that finishes. Okay, so it finished. Close. Right click. Okay, now it's working. Okay so, okay, so now I have to update. So I'm going to update. This might take a little while, but it's already mounted the uh, file system. So I'll be back when that uh, finishes updating. Okay, so the update completed. Now I'm going to go over to the object scan uh, area. We're going to select C drive, and actually since D is a partition on the C drive, it'll scan it also, I hope. So we're going to go and do that and do start object scan, it's going to load the databases, and then I'll be back when that finishes, which could take some hours, depending on how big the hard drive is. But last time I checked, the hard drive was like 320, no, like 460 gigabytes or something like that. It, it was, it was like monstrously big for a budget laptop like this, so it'll take some time. And I didn't see how much of it was full, so, oh well, we'll just see. Okay, well, it says about an hour left, but... About like half an hour ago, I before then I hadn't noticed this, but, but about half an hour ago, I noticed that the little Kaspersky eye light LED thingy uh, turned red, and under, where did I find that? Right there, you double click it, it says threats have been detected, and do details. Okay, so, okay, there we go, it's kind of blurry, but, 
one's adware, actually two of them are adware, and then we have this Java exploit that's located in app data local. It's under Java right here. So after this uh, finishes, and hopefully an hour or less, um, I'll neutralize those. I don't think it'll find any more, but it's only 39% complete. Okay, so <clears throat> as you can see, it's fully charged now, and it's still at about 44%. Last time I checked, it was 39 with an hour to go. Fun. Okay, well, I decided to use my portable toolkit, and I don't know if you can see, I'll go and show you, but if you look right here, I'm running um, uh, Arkill from my thumb drive, and it said, you know, alert, zero access rate kit, symptoms found. And then I went to go and do some more uh, processes, and then it seems to have froze. Hmm, that's a new message. It might be related to Arc Hill. The recycling bin on C slash is corrupted. So I'm going to tell it to delete. Oh, we have AdWare cleaner multiple instances. I'm gonna uh, kill our kill. <laughs> uh, waiting, waiting, waiting. I'll be back when that finishes. Now I'm gonna restart it. Restart it. Our kill. Well, it just blew strange and shut off. So I'm gonna turn it back on. And then tap F8. Do command prompt. Loading the driver, etc. I'm sorry if this video is a little bit blurry. It, I, I need to get a new camera. I'm just using a cheap Kodak flip cam that the only type of zoom is digital zoom and the only type of st stabilization is digital and I have to use macro if I want to actually uh, get enough close of text or something okay so I put the password back in it's starting back up I have my uh, thumb drive plugged in, uh, and it should, there we go, boot to that, I think my drive is G, there we go, it's booting, now we're going to do directory, C, toolbox, DIR, and we're looking for actually I'm gonna start explore.
this is gonna work. Explorer keeps on crashing. Come on. Loading, loading, loading. I'll be back if anything changes. Okay, so I terminated Explorer, but right now, this is what we have because I killed Explorer, but I tried to start up by going to file new parentheses run dot dot dot, and that's not working. Yeah. Let's see. And also, this has the weird, like, infinite touchpad where basically, like, this is part of the touchpad also, along with this. So, like, basically, anywhere you push, either move the cursor or also clicks so that's what's also frustrating about this okay so it looks like any sub processes to use explorer are screwed up because whenever I do browse or try to open a new explorer window it freezes up yeah. Okay, well, I started, I was able to start a command prompt. And as I'm trying to navigate to the root of C drive, it crashes on me. Process and process and new task CMD administrator. So now let's see if I can do this. C drive. So now I'm going to do cd users directory and we want Catherine. So cd Catherine. Let's see if this works. Cannot find K A T H R I N. Try directory again. Oh, it's probably capitalized. Kind of fine. Okay, let's try. Okay, I'm going to try something. And again, it restarted. So this might be to do with temperature, I don't know. It does seem to be running a little bit warm, but probably software related. <sighs> okay, so I was able to get comma fix to run after much Restarting and crashing and blue screening 
I finally got it to run. So it's running right now. Uh, Arkill. I don't even know if Arkill really finished. It kept on getting to alert, zero access, uh, rootkit, activity found. And it starts to scan the resecting bin, and then it would freeze. It would have a blinking uh, command prompt cursor just like that. So maybe it did finish? I don't know. This is running, so that's a good sign. Well, <laughs> it looks like I, not looks like, but I was able to uh, uh, fix it. Um, it now actually uh, starts up and shuts down faster. Uh, in combination with the battery and the camera dying and uh, forgetting to record some of the stuff, basically um, uh, what I ran after combo fix was... Well, I have a list, I can get that later, but basically, um, I repaired Windows files, I deinstalled a bunch of junk, I repaired Norton, and basically, it's, uh, running fine now. If you can uh, look, let's see if you can get this. Okay, there you see, basically I have, uh, Norton backup, Norton, Malwarebytes, the 13-day trial, I have Super Anti Spire, then the Catalyst Control, and what I what actually um caused me more trouble was trying to get the Action Center to re-enable. Apparently, the uh, virus had deleted a registry key that um, starts up the Action Center with Windows Explorer. So I at first thought it was disabled because if you go to um if you go to uh, turn system icons on or off. It was set up on. It was. Uh, it was put to off. But the problem is that it was grayed out. Well, that was only because it was actually disabled. So I got that. Um, let's see. I ran Malwarebytes. I found about four things. Removed that. I ran TDS. Um, uh, I'll get the list later. And basically, it seems to be all clean now. I updated every single thing on this. Removed junkware. I'm doing a scan with uh, Super Anti Spyware. And basically, all Super Anti Spyware is finding is just uh, tracking cookies, but basically nothing. So once this finished finishes, I'll uh, read you up the whole list of stuff I did. But basically it's fixed and under basically under two days I got it yesterday and I started working on it about oh let's say I got it about two worked on it till one and then worked on this uh, today no actually I think it's been about two and a half days so yeah okay well Okay, well, here's the computer, and I have the uh, list of um, what I did, and I'll uh, read it off as I start it up. I'm trying to put it one handed. Okay. Uh, I scanned with Kaspersky bootable antivirus, found three Java exploit viruses, two pieces of adware, ran Arkill in safe mode. It deleted two things and killed one process. Ran JRT also known as Junkware Removal Tool. It removed the Ask Toolbar related junk. Uh, ran Adware Remover. And you can't see the screen. Uh, it removed some shopping related adware, uh, like quick deals or whatever. Ran Combo Fix. It deleted two toolbars and their associated registry keys. Uh, ran Rogue Killer. Deleted three infected registry entries. Uh, <coughs> Ran Rogue, uh, wait, that's the same thing, sorry. Uh, ran Hitmine Pro, bootable, scanner, the Kickstarter. Um, removed one suspicious item. Ran TDSS, and it removed two things. Then I ran ASWMBR from Avast, and replaced the infected, uh, 
MBR boot code with clean Windows 7 boot code. Ran the ESET um, online scanner. It found nothing. Repaired Norton 360 because it had been damaged. Then updated Norton 360. Then ran Windows Repair All-in-One, fixed system corruption caused by virus. Ran CCleaner and it cleared 1.5 gigabytes of temp files. Ran AOS Logic's disk, disk defragger. Hard drive was 6% uh, fragmented. Defragmented the hard drive. I removed one malicious adware. Um, removed one malicious adware extension from Chrome. Removed anti phishing domo domain advisor. While not malicious, it conflicted with Norton's performance. Removed Bing Bar. It's semi-adware slash impacts system performance. Removed, uh, removed McAfee security scanner. Uh, that's classified as adware slash unneeded. Installed Malwarebytes anti-malware. Started the two-week free premium trial. Ran flash scan, flash scan on Malwarebytes and removed two adware and one potentially unwanted program. Ran quick scan and removed two pieces of adware. Then cleared previous restore points to prevent potential reinfection. Um, set a new clean Windows restore point. Uninstalled unneeded programs. Ran system file check. Ran various system fixes using Windows All-in-One repair. Removed all the uh, HP bloatware, installed Steam, installed Safari, updated Adobe Flash, Adobe Reader, Adobe Air, Java, and Shockwave, changed default search engine from Ask to Google due to potential adware threat, um, reset Action Center icons, added back missing Action Center system tray icon registry values which were deleted by the virus, removed uh, corrupted temporary files using um, TFC temp file cleaner um, let's see what else uh, fixed M4A audio association with iTunes and Windows Media Player using the K-Lite um, codec pack ran a full Norton scan found two tracking cookies completely harmless uh, ran full Malwarebytes anti-malware scan, found nothing. Ran SAS, also known as Super Anti-Spyware, only found tracking cookies. Deleted old backup HP files. Uh, it had potential security risk because it had um, Adobe Flash, Reader, and Air from like 2010, which the user could find the folder and install them and just uh, end up installing old versions which are very vulnerable um, and in total I cleaned up approximately 20 gigabytes of junk on the computer then ran a full Norton scan again finally and found nothing and the laptop starts up really quickly I'm gonna do a cold boot and I'll tell you basically how long it takes Shutdown's relatively fast. Sorry for the sucky lighting. As you can see, that's my uh, light source. I know, exciting. Um, while I was doing that, uh, let's see. This is my other laptop, my uh, main laptop. Just doing some quick updates. Install updates. Okay, so it's turned off. And I'm going to turn it back on.
uh, about a minute and a half, roughly, maybe two minutes. It's not going to set any uh, land speed records with booting up, but for a little AMD processor, it's eh, respectable, as opposed to the like 20 minutes for it to start up last time, and then Explorer would crash and restart. So, um, I'm going to plug this in, and then basically uh, text him and say that the computer's ready for pickup whenever. He'll be out of town for about two weeks, so, I mean, I can do more tests on him, but basically it's, it's fixed. So, yeah, that was just another video of me fixing a laptop. Well, a computer, because I fix other computers, but this, in this case, is a laptop. Uh, this has been Zesty Panda with another video, not really tutorial, just more of a tech video. If you like this, uh, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, etc. And that's about it.